find these drivers. Now, uh, what you're going to want, because I wouldn't advise using an F3, don't bother, and there's different drivers to the F3. So what we're going to do is we're going to go after these drivers here, the ST uh, micro drivers from ST.com. Just need to get the software. Now, <clears throat> get the latest, accept the agreement, and this is where it's going to want some information. I've already done mine, so I don't think I need to do this again, but this is what you're going to have to do. <clears throat> um, I don't know if you can just get away with doing a download. Mm. Paris then, I wonder if you'll let me do this. Uh, anyone. Anyone at uh, anywhere dot com. Yeah, so the, well, let's do the download. The registration has been submitted. Validate your email to start the download. Oh, how horrible is that? I really don't like that, but you're going to have to do that, guys. I'm sorry. And what you'll get then is you'll get this. So it'll be downloaded in a, in a package into your hard drive and then just go through the process of uh, pulling it in um, but this is going to be a little bit you're going to know how to install a bit of software you just click on it once it's in there and just go for the install but once you've got it installed you need to go into your C drive uh, so you need to go into your C drive and go into the program files x86 and look down for uh, ST micro ST ST micro uh, you've been watching me call it why can't I go down on this there we go ST micro electronics go into there go into the software virtual com port now if you're on win 7 choose this and if you're using an AMD processor, use the AMD 64, do the install from there, basically just doing it again. And uh, if you're using an Intel machine, x86 for you. The same will be if you're using Windows 8. All right, same thing, AMD machine, use the AMD 64 and uh, x86 for the Windows, for the Intel. And again, you're gonna find that in the virtual com port driver, software st micro electronics which is in your program files on your c drive okay program files x86 and there's another one as well that you're gonna want and this is zadig and zadig is for windows when you're doing your dfu you may find that when you plug in and you're holding down the boot button the, the um, yeah the boot button that it's not doing it, it's not giving you the DFU and that, for that you're going to use Zadig and again you just click and it will bring you through to the website here it is 2.6 get that onto your machine and then just run that again and what you'll have is we'll get rid of this for a minute on here you'll have Zadig or you'll have it in your machine I shouldn't say I'm here really, I've just I, I found it in my list of software, Sadig, and then just done a right click like you can on anything else and pin to start and that's what I do, just pin my stuff in the start here. It just makes it easier for me just get to the things I more frequently use. So we've got Zadig, uh, Zadig in here and this is going to help doing the DFU. If you just put those other store, um, software in for the STM, uh, SD microelectronics, that software will just simply run for you there doesn't seem to be any issues but sometimes when you're trying to bring in a a board it may not be one you've done before I'm not going to show I've done all these boards one of these has got a problem with the DFU so let's just see if we can just do that and I'm going to press down now the uh, boot button and just see on the screen there if that's, it's gone into DFU, darn it, and that's practically the oldest board I've got. So I've got all mine working, but what you're going to notice is in here, if you're using SADIC, and you go into options, you list all the devices, and then you can click down here, 
and you can see what it is that you've got connected here or what it is you want to be looking at and this is the one here look the SDM32 bootloader and so you just want to make sure when you click down onto that uh, where you see driver here it may have a different driver but what you want basically is this to be here so you, you're just going to install the driver you want the win usb 6.1 driver and you just install the driver and then that will allow you to go through into the dfu like it's allowed us to there pretty much with um you know any of these f4 boards i i've well, I, I have already got a small selection of these boards but i haven't come across a problem um and doing it with these with the f3s yeah they could be a right pain in the backside sometimes but you have to do a little bit of juggling around but i'm going to trust that you're not using you know, the f3 so that's it that 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 is it basically how to do that and if you're just um if you're just plugging in normally <clears throat> it'll just give you a, a com port because you've already got the drivers in when you plug your board in because you've already installed your drivers and reboot your machine as well once you've installed those drivers i don't think you really have to but do it anyway because it might just make sure that configuration goes in properly um yeah then when you plug in your flight controller what will happen is you'll just see that message from the computer basically be telling it it's just um configuring that device and then just wait and it'll pop up saying it's done it and you're ready to go just open up your your software then in your software you're going to get this uh, inav you'll be getting from um let me go on to documentation and support but you'll be getting from the inav website and if you just type in well in the inav thing you just type in inav re uh, he says hit go and there you go you've got releases for inav and that will bring you through to this click on there oh it looks like i did it anyway and as we look just underneath these we're looking for the assets and then you can uh for me here this will be the inav configurator win 64 because i'm using a 64-bit processor in this machine and you just choose what's relevant to you and that's it that's as simple as it is